Hey guys, Thomas here from Train Fully. In this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do between holes to stay loose during a round of golf. I'll even show you what holes to do them on. This is a dynamic biceps femoris stretch. Recall from a previous video that the biceps femoris is the lateral hamstring muscle and it has a propensity to become overactive. The tightness that you feel in your hamstrings during a round of golf is an overactive biceps femoris, which decreases your performance three main ways. One, it restricts your lower body rotation, particularly during your backswing. You'll be forced to compensate around that restriction, which will lead to swing flaws and inconsistent ball strike. Two, it becomes synergistically dominant to your gluteus maximus, which means your glutes have become underactive. This decreases the amount of power you can generate during your downswing and reduces your distance. And three, it causes altered recruitment patterns in the muscles around your lumbar spine, hips, and pelvis, which makes your golf swing weaker, slower, and less coordinated. As you can see, I'm using my other leg as a kickstand so that I don't have to worry too much about stability. Now reach down and touch your front foot with the opposite hand. This cross body reach forces flexion, internal rotation, and adduction at the hip, which puts the biceps femoris on stretch. Now to stand back up, I want you to squeeze your glutes and thrust your hips forward. So not only are we improving the extensibility of the biceps femoris, we are also reinforcing optimal glute recruitment. There are three things I want you to focus on. One, don't let your feet turn out or your knees to cave in. If they do, you will reinforce a dysfunctional movement pattern. Two, keep your belly button drawn in throughout the entire movement. This will ensure that your core stays activated. And three, squeeze your glutes and thrust your hips forward to stand back up. Do not lift with your back. Perform one set of 10 repetitions on each leg on hole number three and hole number 12. This is a dynamic hip flexor stretch. Now, depending on how you categorize them, the hip flexor complex consists of between nine and 11 muscles. The muscles that we're primarily targeting with this stretch are the psoas, iliacus, tensor fascia lata, and rectus femoris. Collectively, these muscles have a propensity to become overactive during a round of golf, which decreases your performance three main ways. One, they decrease your hip internal rotation and can potentially cause hip pain by pulling your hip joint out of alignment and causing impingement. Two, they take neural drive away from your glutes, which causes your glutes to become underactive, decreasing the amount of power you can generate during your downswing and reducing your distance. And three, they cause altered recruitment patterns in the muscles around your lumbar spine, hips, and pelvis, which makes your golf swing weaker, slower, and less coordinated. Now, this is not a strength training lunge, so there is no forward lean. I want you to remain upright with a posterior pelvic tilt throughout the entire movement. Doing that will put your hip flexor complex on stretch. Now descend into a kneeling hip flexor stretch and rotate towards your front leg. This puts the abdominal fascia, tensor fascia lata, and fascia lata on stretch, which will improve your pivot and enhance your performance. There are three things I want you to focus on. One, don't let your feet turn out or your knees to cave in. If they do, you'll reinforce a dysfunctional movement pattern. Two, keep your belly button drawn in and your glutes tight throughout the entire movement. And three, keep your body upright with a posterior pelvic tilt throughout the entire movement. Perform one set of 10 repetitions on each leg on hole number one and hole number 10. This is a dynamic latissimus dorsi stretch. In our previous video, we learned that the latissimus dorsi is part of the posterior oblique subsystem along with the thoracolumbar fascia and gluteus maximus, and that this subsystem is of prime importance to a high performance golf swing because it transfers force between our lower and upper extremities in a rotational pattern. Unfortunately, the latissimus dorsi has a propensity towards overactivity, which causes dysfunction in the posterior oblique subsystem and in turn decreases your performance three main ways. One, it restricts your upper body rotation, particularly during your backswing. You'll be forced to compensate around the restriction, which will lead to swing flaws and inconsistent ball striking. Two, it causes dysfunction in your posterior oblique subsystem decreasing the amount of power you can generate during your downswing and reducing your distance. 
and three, it causes altered recruitment patterns in the muscles throughout your upper body and around your lumbar spine, hips, and pelvis, which makes your golf swing weaker, slower, and less coordinated while making it difficult for you to get separation between your upper and lower body. Begin by holding your arm in a guarded position. Pull your belly button away from your waistband, squeeze your glutes, now press up and reach as high as you can in a crossbody pattern with a little bit of trunk rotation without letting your low back arch. There are three things that I want you to focus on. One, don't let your low back arch. Because the latissimus dorsi attaches to both your upper arm and pelvis, as you lengthen the latissimus dorsi at the shoulder, your pelvis will get pulled along for the ride. So you'll have to anchor your pelvis in place, which brings us to number two. Keep your core and glutes tight. If you don't, you will fall into an anterior pelvic tilt and reinforce a dysfunctional movement pattern. And three, reach up as high as you can. I want you to pull your latissimus dorsi through its full range of motion. Perform one set of 10 repetitions on each side on hole number six and hole number 15. All right, guys, so the big lesson today is that when a muscle becomes overactive, it becomes a restriction in your swing. And as you move through your swing sequence, you have to compensate around the various restrictions that you have and those compensations manifest themselves as certain swing flaws. So if you're struggling with consistency, you need to identify and remove the various restrictions that are holding you back and keeping you from reaching your full potential. If you're looking for a golf fitness program that shows you how to do that step-by-step, step, you can find it at trainfully.com. As a kinesiologist and human movement specialist, I specialize in making the golf swing fast, accurate, and consistent. All my routines are based on complex kinesiology and advanced biomechanics. In fact, the train fully routines are the same routines that I use with professional golfers to enhance their performance and protect them from injury. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.